Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shawnee. I live in LA, I am an actor. I've been pursuing acting out here for a little over five years now. In that time, I've gotten to work on a lot of cool projects. I've met a lot of cool people. I've really built up my resume, my reel. I do have a few projects streaming online. If you ever wanna know acting things that I've been up to, all that stuff is on my official website. I'm also on IMDb, so if you ever wanna check that stuff out, it will always be in the description of these acting-related videos that I am going to start doing more of. I want to start doing more videos on the topic of acting, whether it's vlogging when I'm doing acting related stuff like this video is going to be about, or making tips and advice videos, or sharing story time videos about my countless, countless experiences in this industry over the past five years, be it like meeting with agents, auditioning with big casting directors, visiting major studios like Universal, Disney, celebrity encounters, starstruck moments, things like that. I just have so much I could talk about, and I feel like I should be talking about it, so I'm gonna start, um, but one thing at a time. So in this video, I'm just gonna be showing you guys kind of my process when I have a self-tape audition and I have to go into like my self-tape studio where I film my self-tape auditions. Why are you so nasty? Why don't you have any black friends? <laughs> you guys know the current situation of the world. This is being filmed in July 2020. Okay, we all know what 2020 was. The lockdown is starting to open, but here in LA, kind of like as we started opening things, they had to close things again. But for some reason, they haven't closed the casting studios. This is basically going to be my first time stepping foot in a casting studio since the lockdown started, since March. I can't tell you how excited I am about this because going to the audition studios in Hollywood used to just be a part of like my weekly life. The fact that it's been months at this point this is the longest i've ever gone without stepping foot in inside of an audition studio i have been doing auditions like during the whole quarantine thing but i've just been doing them from home i'd much rather go to my self-tape studio the perks of having a self-tape studio they provide a reader so you don't have to worry about calling a friend or like calling your mom and being like can you read with me for this audition and then they have someone film the audition for you and then they send you the file the self-tape studio i use is called hollywood casting and film they also hold auditions there I'm also a member with them. It's only $13 a month. And with that membership, you get to submit yourself for projects that cast at their studio. And then you also get to have unlimited self-tapes. I would highly recommend it if you're an actor in LA. So the process usually goes something like, I'll get the audition alert in my email. I'm on a lot of different casting sites. And then I have an agent who submits me for projects as well. I submitted myself for this one specifically through Actors Access. So you get something called C-mail. First, I look to see, is it an in-person audition or self-tape? This one wants a self tape then I look at when it's due I look at like all the details when does it shoot how much does it pay did they send the whole script or just the sides and then I'll usually read through the sides when you're gonna go into the self tape studio you have to bring a copy of the sides for your reader so first things first I'm headed to Office Depot to print my audition sides Okay, so these are my audition sides. I have them all printed out here. I made it blurry because I can't reveal like the actual script. The next step after that is just to prepare and everyone has a different process for that. Every actor is different. Also, prep time depends on how much time you have. Sometimes you get an audition like an hour beforehand and they don't even give you the sides until you get there because they want you to do a cold read, which is cool. I'm always down for those. But this one I got a few days, well, <laughs> I'm kind of a procrastinator. It's really bad, but uh, so, I'm preparing the night before, which is fine. Let's get back to what's important. 
Hi guys, it's the next day. I just got finished getting dressed, doing my makeup and my hair. I am wearing the same thing as I was wearing yesterday because I decided that this is a look I like for this character in this audition and it is really important what you choose to wear for an audition. It's important that you do every little thing you can to help a casting director see you in that role and as that character. That being said, we've had a huge change of plans. So the owner of Hollywood Casting and Film called me and said they're not going to be able to do my self-tape anymore which is a huge bummer. Basically, they're having some construction today. He called me, he actually tried to call earlier. My phone was on silent, so I didn't see it, but he ended up calling me and explaining everything, and he seemed really sorry, you know, everything like that. I'm not gonna hold this against them because I've had a lot of great experiences with them in the past. Even though it is kind of frustrating and it feels a little last minute, I'm not gonna hold it against them, and I don't think you should either. I think they're still a great place and things happen sometimes. I'm gonna figure something else out for my audition today. There are other self-tape studios in LA that I could use, but because of the health situation, a lot of them are closed and then the ones that are open, it's to last minute to really schedule something for today. Also, a lot of them are pretty pricey. I have a few specific friends who are also in the industry who I could call, they would definitely help me. But first, I think I'm just gonna ask my mom because I'd rather bother her than bothering one of my friends today, so. Hi, Johnny, what's going on? Um, I was gonna ask you for a favor. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you feel like reading with me for an audition today? How would I do it? By, um, by, by Zoom? I guess over the phone or by Zoom. Okay. Um. I'm probably going to pause after I say I would love that and then I'm going to say the next one. Oh, okay. And then it looks like that's the end of my part. Yeah. You do look a little pale. Are you okay? I can turn them off for you here. Oh, let me, let me grab that. So, yeah, so then I, like, I I just have the last two lines and then, um, okay, we can do it for real now. Hi, my name is Shawnee Drake. I'm 5'8", based in Los Angeles, California, but willing to travel, and I'm reading for the role of Jess. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. It's my song, the best night is a sandbox. God, I know. I'm bummed that I'm missing it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but... You know, I, I actually, I actually like spending time with the kids. Sorry, could you, could you start that over? I lost the line. I actually have fun with the kids. Okay, just one more time, one more time. Okay. Three, two, one. It's by far the best part of the sandbar. I know. Okay, so I finished filming my audition a little while ago. After you finish filming your audition, there are a few more steps you have to do before you're done. I imported the files onto my computer. Whenever I film a self-tape, I usually do multiple takes of each scene I have to do because I like to play around with different acting choices, try different things, and sometimes I don't get it right the first time. And so that way I can just pick the best take of each scene. So there were three different scenes for this audition, so I did four takes of each scene. I basically then have to watch all of the takes and then pick my favorite ones and edit them together into one file. Then once I have the file ready to go, I upload it to the casting site and that's it. That's the last step. So I've just finished doing that and my audition is sent to the casting director. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes of a self-tape audition. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys very soon. Bye.